Morning, everyone. Right, in the workshop today is a Land Rover Discovery with a scuff bumper corner. Um, it's color coded and it's textured, so we're gonna have to. I'm gonna have to approach this two different ways. So first of all, I'm gonna prep everything, so, sort of sand it out, get rid of all the light scratches. Then I will paint the color coded section today, and tomorrow I will just finish off the textured section. Um, pretty straightforward, nice easy job. Actually, you say that. The easy jobs are often the ones that go wrong or can be quite difficult, but that's what's in, and I look forward to sharing it all with you as the day goes on. Have a good one. Okay, so there's a little bit of a scuff left behind from where I've sanded it. I sanded it with some 180. I didn't want to go anything coarser than that. So I'm just going to use some uh, Colad coarse UV putty. You don't need a lot. Might even have too much on there. I'm just going to squeeze that in. And then I'll sand this back with 240. But for now, I'm just going to show you the speed of UV curing. Right, that's it. Glass is on. I'm going to cure it with the Hudson IRT Smart Cure. Three second cure. That's it, three seconds and we're done. Ready to be sanded back with some 240. Um, then we can prime, mask it up and prime it. Okay, it's time to prime the bumper. First I need to apply some adhesion promoter. And then the pr primer that I'm gonna use is the Ultimate UV Primer. And it goes on on two coats. I'm just drying off the adhesion promoter there. And then I'll put the first coat on, followed by the second coat, 30 seconds between each coat and now I can cure it. It doesn't take long to cure this UV primer. That's it, 39 seconds, all cured, ready to move on to the next stage, as you can see. So I peeled it back my soft edge masking foam, apply some guide coat, just a light coat of that, peel everything back, and it's good to go. So the next stage that you'll see in the, in the video to follow will be sanding this back. So after applying my spy coat, I can now sand this back. I'm going to use some 500, which is the maximum 500. This I use for the bulk of the work to get everything nice and level and flat. For the final finishing, I've got an old Super Azelex sheet here, a little bit of water on a block, and there we go, that's it. So now I can key up the rest of this bumper corner so that it's ready to go into paint. I love polishing with a wool moth head, and this one from Kovacs is excellent. It has a foam backing pad to it. It also has a rubber locating ring, so it fits onto your polisher really easily. So I had a couple of nibs in this, which I cut back with some 2000 Bufflex, but it just needed to be brought back up to a nice shine. So quick little polish with the rotary and the wool moth head. The foam backing pad in this wool moth head really allows the mop head to sit nicely on the panel that I'm cutting back or polishing. So just to finish this off, because it is a black bumper, I'm gonna do a quick little polish using a orbital polisher. Just gets rid of any holograms that might have been left in there. Quick polish before I unwrap it and I move on to finishing the job off and the texturing of the corner. The final job to do on this bumper is the texturing of the additional parts. So I use the ProXL Plastic Color Kit I apply some adhesion promoter, followed by some texture, flashing it off between each coat. If you need to reapply the texture, you can. I didn't need to, so now I've gone straight in with some color. Flash off between each coat of color. I'm gonna go in with a second coat, and that's it. 
dry it off, peel it all back, and the repair is now complete.